here's the Ender 3 Max Neo. I'm going to show you how to assemble this step by step. After we're done setting it up, we're going to go ahead and print out the first test print that's on your SD card. You can see my uh, other Ender 3 Max Neo here. And we're going to go ahead and test, uh, print out this test boat here. And this is on your SD card as well. And you can see how perfect this one actually printed. You can even see on the back here, it says uh, GT3D.XYZ. That was that first layer, and that's how perfect this came about. And hopefully, you'll be able to print this first one as well, just like this. First thing is we just take off this plastic thing here on the bed. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab this right here, and we're going to turn this over because we can see that the cable's on this side here. What we want to do is put it in this groove here on the bottom. And as you can see here, let me lift it back up. So we're basically putting into this groove that's right here. Make sure the cable's not in the way. I'm going to press down on it. So out of this bag here, this is all the stuff that comes in here. And we're going to use uh, two screws on this side and this side. And it's the biggest screws. It's these four right here. So on one side, one screw goes down here. The other one goes up here. So let's screw those in. Now I just placed the, both of the screws in there and now I'm going to use this Allen wrench that comes in here and I'm going to tighten these up now. So both sides are tightened now. So next we'll go ahead and attach the uh, display here. You see those three screws right there. You basically want to make sure to just line them all up. The two bottom ones go on the bottom slot and the one goes on top. And then you use your Allen wrench to tighten the screws up under there. Now you can see I have it flushed it right here. Next, go ahead and plug in the cable to your display that's hanging right below it. Put it under there. Okay, get the cables in. Next, you can take this filament off the display. Next, I'm gonna plug in the motors. You can see on this motor here, I got this cable here. I'm gonna plug that into there. And then this side, got the motor on over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that into there. All right, this side is in, and that's in now. Next, we're going to put the filament rack on, okay? So it's going to go on this side, right here, right down. So you got like these grooves here. You just want to put the first one on up on the first groove first and then kind of press down. Okay, and then again, just press down. And now it's in and I can kind of slide this over. So I'll, I'll just slide it over to like right here. And this can, if you want to store it, you can go ahead and put it back like that. And then this part here, there's grooves in here, so put it in and you have to twist it, okay? And then we can, like that, all right? Now we're gonna plug in the cable here. If you look by the uh, display here, over here you got that on-off switch, and right below it is where you plug this in. Plug the other end into the wall, and then we can go ahead and turn it on. So the first thing is we're gonna do a auto home to make sure it's working properly. So go to your screen here, and simply what we want to do is just go to prepare, and then we're going to go down to auto home right there, and then we're going to press the button right there, and what's going to happen, it's going to do this little thing, it's end up going to go all the way down, it's going to tap the bed, and it's going to move slightly up, okay? And right now it's slowly moving down, it's going to go all the way down, it has to touch that bed, and then go up just a little bit, so far so good. And it's going down, it's going to touch it right there, it's going to go up right there. Alright, auto home is done now. So the next thing is we're going to do is we're going to level it. We're just going to use the auto level feature, okay? Now you can do it like partially manually. You put a piece of paper in, you have these like knobs here. You can adjust, you know, there's four knobs on each corner here. And you can raise a little bit or decrease like the bed. But when I got my original one in, I didn't even uh, set anything up manually. I just did the auto bed. And like I said, my first print was perfect. So I'm just going to go with that. So from here, we're going to go right to auto leveling. So we're going to go down to leveling right there. And we're going to go ahead and let it do its thing. Just be patient at this point now. And it's basically going to just keep putting points all over leveling the bed. So just wait here. So now it's going to touch every little side almost done all right just about done now just tapping the bed twice again 
and it looks like it is done now. Next thing is we have to lower the Z offset, okay? So first thing is just get a piece of paper. I got this paper out of the box here. You just wanna put a piece of paper on here, okay? So basically there's a needle under here. What you wanna do is scrape the paper just barely, okay? Right now, it's not scraping, it's no play, okay? So from here, I wanna to go to prepare, tap on that, and then we're gonna to go to Z offset, okay? We're gonna go down, down, right there. I'm gonna click on that. And mine's currently at 0.00, .00 okay? So what I wanna do is I'm gonna um, turn it clockwise and go slowly as you're doing this, this uh, Z axis is gonna go down slowly, up or down, depending if you're going left or right. But I need to go down because it's not scraping the paper, so I'm gonna go down. And this moves little tiny fractions, like millimeters at a time, okay? So you may have to, all right, let me keep on going here. And my offset number is gonna be different than yours, okay? Okay, now I'm starting to get a little scrape here. Let me keep on going. Not quite. Oh, okay, it's a little bit too much. Let me move it up a little bit. Just a little bit more. Okay, I can feel like a little scratch right there. Mine's on negative 2.86, but yours is going to be a different number. Probably negative 2 point something, okay? So I'm going to click on that when you're done. Then you want to go to up here to go back. Now next, we're going to go ahead and put in this uh, filament. Okay, so first we gotta go ahead and create the PLA. So we're gonna go to prepare right there, click on that button, and then we're gonna go down to preheat PLA right there, and it's gonna go ahead and warm up the bed and the extruder. And you can see the temperature rising down here. Okay, there's 38 out of 200, so the, the bed is gonna to go to, or the extruder is gonna to go to 200, the bed is gonna to go to 60. So far, 25 heated so far out of 60, and this one's 49 or 200, so I'm gonna wait till it gets to 260 degrees. Now let's get those clippers also in this little box here. Make sure you don't lose this too, this little thing here. If your uh, needle gets clogged, you can always stick this needle in there and you kind of like stick it up, so don't lose that. And in here, you have this right here. So go ahead and, so go ahead and pull the filament out. You kind of want to do like a 45 degree angle, just a little bit. You don't really have to on this, uh, on this uh, 3D printer. I mean, I don't really have to do it, but we'll just do it just in case. Just do a little 45 degree angle. This way we can slip it through the sensor. So we're going to go ahead and put the filament on. You can see just like this, all right? And then also FYI, you have zip ties. You know, you don't want the cables. Like you can go ahead and tie these cables down if you wish. I didn't have to in my first one, but uh, just FYI. Now looking at the display, I'm still warming up the PLA and you can see the bed is at like one, uh, the extruder 158 degrees out of 200. I'm waiting for the 200 and the bed to hit the 60, okay? And once that's uh, heated up, so after uh, it's heated up, we wanna get our filament here. Just make sure it's kind of straight. Now what we wanna do is first put it through the sensor here, okay? And then once you put it through the sensor, I mean, make sure it goes through, okay? You might have to like kind of play with this a little bit to get it to go through, but eventually you'll get to go through and then it's going to go through to here now you can see as i go through the sensor i'm going to go into this right here open and then you want to be able to start putting that filament in oh let me move this paper out of the way and let me just go just keep on going until it kind of like stops Okay, it stops right there. Okay, so I'm good there. Next thing is we're gonna put the SD card in. So it comes a little pack right here. You have this right here. You can, if you have a USB on your computer, you can plug that in here and uh, import your prints or whatnot. But there's two, uh, two demo print test ones should be on here. So here's the SD card or TF card. And then right under the bed here, I see a little slot for the SD card. Let me go ahead and put that in. Quickly, uh, in your box too, you guys get like an extra nozzle here as well, just in case if that one ever goes bad. One of my older ones, I had to change the nozzle because I had it where it was basically scraping the bed and it messed it up. Anyway, from here, let's do that first test print, okay? And this is my first test print on my other uh, Ender 3 Max Neo. And so let's go over here. We put the SD card in there. And then just make sure you go back to the, home, the main screen here, and then we're gonna to go to print. And then yeah, the, the boat and the rabbit is here. Let's do the uh, boat here. We're gonna go ahead and go with the boat. We're gonna click right there. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and just go with confirm. And this is cool, it'll tell you like how much time's lapsed, how much time is like remaining after it cal calculates it all, okay? So just be patient now. So mine's just sitting here, it's just waiting now. It's waiting for the, uh, the extruder to go up to 200 degrees is 198. So as soon as that's up, then it's gonna start doing its thing. Okay, it's starting, it just moved up a little bit here. I can see a little bit of the filament hanging down, you can see it right there. Now let it do its thing. So far, so good. I'll get that right there, the melted filament. Looks good. So it's sticking to the bed. Get this little excess piece right here. But so far, so good. You can see how that boat is looking first. Okay, now finally it showed the remaining on there. So it's like an hour, 46 minutes. Oh wait, it's going up an hour, 47. I think it's about two hours for the boat. The rabbit, I think it's like three hours. Let's see how that's looking so far. Hour, 32 minutes left, and you can see how much is done so far. I got some like excess here. That's gonna be no problem. Once the print is done, I can just go ahead and pull that off. But you can see how this boat is looking. You can see those details on there. An hour, four minutes remaining. So far, so good. All right, looks like it's done. I can press on confirm here. Oh, just press confirm. Let me go ahead and turn this off. Go ahead and get your scraper. And now, let's see how hard this is gonna to be to take off here. Oh, that's pretty simple. Looks pretty good. So we got some stuff here like on the edges. We can just kind of pull that off. That right there. And we can see the details on this. You can even see a different set of numbers on here. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it in the camera. But look at this. Nice and perfect. If yours printed out perfect like this, your first print, comment below. All right. I almost forgot, but if you guys wanted to go ahead and clean off your bed, you can go ahead. You have these right here. What you want to do is the first couple of times it's kind of hard, okay? You want to go ahead and just like that. And now you can go ahead and just you can slide the bed out and clean it, all right?